Ciao. Oh, sorry, I'm just watching TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. I hope ciao is hello, Pippa, and you've not just, I've not just said goodbye. <laughs> Pippa seems to think ciao is hello in Italian. That's a good guess. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Anyway, we are in Milan. So we got up this morning at 3.30 to go to the airport after having three hours sleep because... Pippa came to help me pack last night because I was hungover and her car ended up getting clamped outside my apartment. So that was a whole scenario. Then she comes back in my apartment, got the, literally like the end of a phone here. My charger snapped in her phone and On she like couldn't. On like 4%. <laughs> oh. So we had a bit of a disaster last night. Um, but we've made it to Milan. Ryanair robbed us in the airport. Um, because of all the fiasco last night, I forgot to check in, and then the, I was like, "Oh, sorry, I've really forgot to check in and got the boarding passes." Fifty-five pound each to charge me, fifty-five pounds each to check us in, to type in like a ten-digit passport number into the check-in. So that was a rob. The robbed us blind there. Then they charged me sixty-six pound because the case is overweight. So it didn't start off great. Pippa's not been a very talkative right now. Have you ever met my YouTube channel? Um, I think I very briefly once. Pippa, if anyone doesn't know, is my long time best friend from, we actually knew each other in school, but I didn't really like him in school. <laughs> but I know it. But we got best friends in college. <laughs> Basically in school, you were a bit jarring in school, you've got to admit. You was the kind of person who would actually ask for extra homework. <laughs> Listen, just because some people can't rely on looks like this. <laughs> oh, we're going there. We're going there. The low blows have started already. I know I say that, but we was in the same sets. We was in the same set. I oh, just yeah. didn't do homework. <laughs> you was probably you, I used to sit next to you in loads of lessons though. Yeah, I did. But we like weren't Science. best friends. We were we were acquaintances in school, weren't we? Acquaint we was friends. <laughs> <laughs> you thought we was friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. We was friends in school, but we weren't best friends. But then when we got to college, we only knew each other, so we had to become <laughs> friends. So guys, we are ready for the day. Pippa's ready now just there got this woman's wear dress on i've actually got no pants on because you can see them um this is actually pippa's roommate's coat eloise love to take a bag and then my travis's so she's gonna go and explore milan and have a drink i think we deserve a drink i've literally walked 20 seconds no job 20 seconds admiring from my hotel and this is Wow. This is literally like our hotel is just there and then this is here. How unreal is that? I feel like we're real tourists right now. Or pigeons. What's a lot of pigeons? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> there is a lot of pigeons. I feel like this is a very tourist central spot. The, the hotel's prime location by the way. Um, but there's a cafe right there that looks really nice. Nothing wise with one that would be the pigeons. Sorry. Yeah, like, why are you joining us? Why are you trying to get them near us? We're just playing rap. I've just come for lunch and I forgot to show you. But I got ham, ham and mozzarella cheese, which is like Switzerland, if you remember. And a bit of chips. Pippa is struggling a little bit because Pippa is actually celiac, which means she's allergic to gluten. And I have really anything on the menu, so leaves. Oh, you did have chicken though. I haven't had those spritz. Pippa has uh, diet coke because she says she was a bit too tired as of yet. But then, yeah. that is amazing. Well, only them brolies weren't there. We've had the perfect meal. But, yeah. Oh. Oh. Everyone's so fashionable here. Okay. Let's guess where we ended up on the way back. <laughs> And I've just got a new pair of sunglasses. Honestly, it's not healthy how addicted to sunglasses I am. Um, it's really not okay, but I'll show you when I get home. But this shop, I've never seen half of these sunglasses. 
Like, look how cool these sunglasses are. Put them on, they're so cool. I just got some Bottega ones I've never seen before, but the ones I have just got, guys. How nice. It's stunning. The sunglasses are sunglasses in. I can't see anything. Really good, really strong. I can't see anything. Yeah, very, like a dark, dark. <sighs> guys, I just love sunglasses. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, because I don't really even wear them in England. I just love having them. Mm. They just make an outfit sunglasses. But these are what they are. I think they're really cool. Pippa really liked them. She said that I'll wear them all the time. I can wear them when I go skiing. I can wear them all summer. I do think, because you, you wear obviously gold jewelry every day, so realistically they are going to go with everything every day. Bottega Veneta, I think it is. Yeah. What's that? Do you remember that ice cream when you were younger? You Cornetta. Like, no, it was like, va it began with a V. And it was like that roll. Oh, I don't know. Same Do you know what else I actually loved about that shop is the woman was so nice. She was so nice. It makes you want to spend money when the staff are nice. Yeah, but she was also be nice because... Oh, she yeah, she gave me every shower. compliment in the, under the yeah. sun. She was like, your face is perfect for sunglasses. Spot. You're going to fucking say that to me. You're not going to say that I look like She's a dick in sunglasses, are you? <laughs> yeah. Both of your faces are perfect for sunglasses. But sometimes when you're in shops and the staff, like, don't want to serve you, like, they ain't yeah. got the time to serve you... It, I hate that. Yeah. Like, it, it, I just don't like it. One of my favourite shops to shop in ever, if I get designer things, is Prada. And that's because once I lost, I think I might have said this on YouTube, it wasn't actually that long ago, um, I lost the pouch of my Prada boots because it's like a press stud. And when I was out and about, I was running around, not running around, I ran over a road and I think I lost it then. Anyway, never found it. And I went into Prada and I was like, oh, like, I've lost my, my, pit, my pouch off my boot. And there's, like, there's nothing we can do really in store contact with customer services. Anyway, I bought, like, some sunglasses again and um, a bag. And then he was like, let me just see what I can do. And then the next day, I went into Prada and he'd got me a pouch. And he just gave me it. didn't charge me anything for it. Um, obviously, I didn't have to do that. Like, I was literally like, I'll pay for the thing, but I just I need it for the boot. And then ever since then, like now, if I needed something designed for a present for someone or anything like for Elle's birthday, we got a Prada sunglasses. My dad's birthday, I got him a Prada belt because because they've built that relationship with the nice to you, it makes you want to go back in. But there's some stores I've shopping and I think the staff is so fucking awful to you. You don't want to buy anything. They make you feel like shit. So you just don't want to go back. So anyway, the moral of the story is the lady was really nice who saw me with these. And... Great purchase of the holiday, first purchase, first and last, maybe, maybe not. Really quick update, we fell asleep for like... A long time. Pippa said that she didn't sleep, but you did sleep. Well, I just... She said, you slept for two hours while I lied there. <laughs> yeah, I um, So yeah, then we just decided we're actually gonna go out for some dinner. So we rang the lady on reception was like, can you recommend anywhere? Can you book anywhere? Um, so we had like 25 minutes to get dressed and get to the restaurant and book it. So she just got them ready in two seconds. This is what I've just thrown together. And outfit wise, I got this skirt yesterday in Zara. This little top with the hood in Zara. This is actually Mitch's denim jacket from Diesel. And then my heels. <laughs> <laughs> People think she's like she's going to work. Um, no, I think you're very Milan. Yeah, but do you know it's my own Let me fault show them. Not trying out, trying on my outfits beforehand. I like it. I feel like you're very sophisticated. Thank you. But sophisticated isn't really my vibe. Sophisticated is not the vibe. No. What so guys, we had just had dinner. I got seafood carbonara. How nice does that sound? Oh, it got really hot. It does look really nice with that. It's really nice in here. So we're back. My feet and Pippa's feet are killing. Like, it's not funny oh, it's not how painful. painful heels are. Um, however, I know I might have been a bit shit on the YouTube today, but you know what? I've been so tired. Um, it's the first day. We never really get into it until the second day. So tomorrow, we're up early. Got to ask at reception. Late Como. It's okay, we can ask in the morning. Sure. Yeah. Guys, we are up, we are ready. 
to go to Lake Como. We actually did get up a little bit late today, which was my fault. Um, I was the one with the alarm getting up, but when my alarm went off at 8.30 this morning, I just couldn't get out of bed. But I thought it's better to sleep in and then not be tired for the rest of the trip. I felt we just needed to catch up on sleep, yeah, from yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're ready to face on the half past 10. So if we get to Lake Como for 12, we still, we're not, we're not like, it's not like it's major, it's not like it's 12 o'clock already. Um, so we're just gonna quickly go and get a Starbucks and then ask the reception how we get to Lake Como. The skies look blue skies today. We are full sun, blue skies. Today's gonna be a great day. Pippa said she feels like a different person today. She's recharged, she's alive. slept, she's alive. So yeah, we're gonna have a great day today. Into the biggest Starbucks in the world, Pippa's human because there's still no blue and free food and she couldn't get a, we don't do chai lattes this time of year, which is crazy. Well, crazy. To say it's the biggest star, <laughs> is it in the world? Um, I don't know, I think it's like a big thing. It's like, well, it's definitely not an English one. Let me show you. Just come here to like the self-service area. Then like literally, it's like, let's go on this way. And you can see that, like full on Starbucks coffee machine. Up there, if you want to get seated and get waited on in Starbucks. What the hell? And it goes all the way around there. Guys, we are just in the train station. So imagine this is the trains, and then you get off. We're talking Mac, Rituals, Sephora. As soon as you get off the train, what is this place? This is amazing. It's like it's kind of like an airport, shopping centre, train station combined. Imagine just like, oh, need some makeup for tonight, pop into Sephora. It's great. Guys, so we are, whoa, my sunglasses look weird with the sunglasses. I really want to put mine on, but I just look like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look nice. Do you think? Very Yeezy. Okay. So we finally got off the train. Um, we're finally at Lake Como, just walk into it now. Pippa told me to vlog on the train, but I could feel my mood slipping away from me because we got delayed on there for an hour. And the thing was just saying over and over again in Italian, um, we are delayed due to technical reasons for a few minutes. After an hour, I was like, what the fuck? You they need to change, they was the taking the piss up. And I was like, we're gonna literally miss the sunlight. Well, we're not, it's like two o'clock, but still, I wanted a day here, but oh well. And then there was like two people next to us, just like necking on Yeah. as well. Literally, we was just like, right. <laughs> Public affection is enough from us. Yeah, but it wasn't even public, it was another level. Yeah. It was, it was. like practicing and wedding vows to each other. <laughs> Reciting. Yeah. But when we was in the train station, we got a ticket from Milan to Lake Como. I got two returns, including the boats for 37, is it euros here? Yeah, it was like 37 euros. euros. So I think that's a pretty good bargain to be fair, don't you? The train was nice again. What? <laughs> yeah, apart from the delay, the train was nice. And then I think what we do is we must get on a boat here up to like a bit of like the funky Lake Como. So, I mean, we can see it. Maybe cute it? vibes. Look, that is Lake Como there. You can see through the trees. I'm guessing there were the boats we're gonna go get on. This is gonna be so much fun. On a ferry thing across Lake Como. So we got off the first stop at Serabio or something and everything is shut. Like, I don't think I've seen a soul yet. Um, yeah. The streets are cute though, look very... The streets are very cute, Italian but there's not anyone here. All of the shops are shut. Oh, voices. Um, but like, look down there, that's cute. The thing is, this is like one of the main towns, so it can't be shut. I do think we just come out of season. So where are we going to get a drink? Yeah. <laughs> where are we going to get our apples and fritz? Where are we going to get that? I was imagining like being on Lake Como with an Aperol. <laughs> Getting the boat home drunk. On Lake Como, Aperol in hand. 
boys walking the, past. Yeah, sexy boys, you know, with like little shorts. I mean, I know they won't be wearing shorts. Ciao, so Bella. Like, Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Amigos. Maria, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> but no, <laughs> it's a bit of a ghost town, if I'm perfectly honest with you. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, we got the, well, obviously, we got to that place. There was nothing open. Every English person we found was like, there's nothing open here. So it's like, okay, we'll get on the boat back down here to the main bit and then we'll go up to like one of the main spots. Just Bel 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 yeah. Or Bel Bel basically a lot higher up the lake. So then we asked at the ticket office and they was like, oh, it's too late now. You won't get back. So basically Lake Como has been a big fat fail. So that's okay. It just means I have to come back to Lake Como in the summer, which yeah. is actually what I want to do anyway. Um, but obviously we're here now, so we're just gonna find a bath and die in for a wee. We're gonna sit, we're gonna have a little bit of food. We're gonna have Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritz always lifts the mood. But all in all, Lake Como, I think it could be a summer destination, you know? Like, Lake not Como, this time. Pause in Como. <laughs> but obviously we'll just explore this bit. This actually is called Como, this actual yeah, this stop. Is, we're in like the... We're in the t the main the city of Lo yeah. of Lake Como, if that is a thing. Um, maybe we should like look what's the best restaurant around here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Be happy. So when you Google best places, everything was shot <laughs> for, a for a shock. So just walked like and sat down at this little bar here restaurant. Oh, it's so nice view in the background. Um, we're gonna get a little bit of food and apple spritz and you know we're here got to enjoy this bit um so we actually have in like como which is the very bottom of lake como um but yeah who knew that like como like didn't open in the summer <laughs> i mean in the winter it only opens in the summer but that place was actually a ghost town that we've just been to wasn't it just ordered food i got a pepperoni pizza i can't come here to italy not a pizza what did you get babe I got a gluten-free risotto, but it looks very yeah, interesting. It's really nice. Yeah, it does look nice. I'm excited. Yeah, good. First food you're eating all day. This is the first guy I've had the whole day. <laughs> I've been living off salad leaves and fruit. <laughs> and them stupid bars you bought in the airport. As well. Wow. Talking. So lunch was gorgeous. And now we are going to head back to the train because when I tell you it is freezing it's so cold like the sun's obviously going down it is not hot I don't know why I thought in my head like oh Italy and Milan's gonna be so hot like we're still in March I don't know why I like thought it would be hot but it's not <laughs> it's really not it's like 14 degrees and I thought you know like when you're on holiday and 14 degrees is like it's not 14 degrees in England this is like English 14 degrees yeah it's cold it's anyway the it's the wind it's the wind it's getting to us we need to find somewhere on the train back of where we want to go tonight for dinner because obviously we didn't book it last night and it was so last minute we like asked the lady at like half past nine but i think we should try like sort it before 9 30 tonight so yeah we need to find somewhere that we can go eat and maybe like a little bar a little club a little party <laughs> But I think I should do the club tomorrow night because we're yeah. flying home then Friday, so it's fine. Yeah. But like the club today, we don't really want to hung over tomorrow. We've got a full day around Milan tomorrow. Shopping day tomorrow. Shopping day tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, with new sunglasses. <laughs> it's all going to be great. So yeah, but Lake Como has been fun. I would definitely recommend going, but just in summer. Yeah, we just come at the wrong time of year. Like everything was shut. I actually said to the lady like, oh, lots been shut today. And she was like, it's because this time of year in, like here is meant to be raining. Lake Como is definitely going to be, I think, I feel like as well I'd come for four days in the middle of summer and just come here. Mm. Um, obviously we're meant to be at Milan anyway, so it was a nice bonus added on, but it's pretty cold and nothing was open. But yeah, it is a beautiful place. And imagine someone, it's like all hot and the trees are all green. It will be a vibe. Definitely a Aperol Spritz vibe. Also today guys on TikTok, well, actually yesterday I announced, I haven't even said it on YouTube yet. So I am bringing out my own makeup brand and I announced it yesterday on TikTok, I was like so nervous. And then I did some today and 
yeah, I'm just really excited. I'll tell you more about it when I'm back at the hotel because I feel like I need to tell YouTube because I mean, you're the OGs. But I'm really happy about that, how that's gone. So we just got to the train station and there was 20 minutes to wait. So I was like, there's like a um, technology store. So I was like, oh, I want to, oh gosh, I need to do that. So I wanted a tripod anyway, so like I can do makeup stuff. <laughs> There's a tripod in the store, I get the tripod, and he's like, oh, I don't have a bag, so I'll make you a handle. If you make me a handle, I'll just sell it. I mean, it's quite a smart idea, but like I want everyone in Milan to know that I'm walking around and just bought a tripod. Well, not Milan, Lake Como, and then Milan. So that's great. We're going to have to get on like the tube and everything when we get back, and I've got a tripod with a tape handle. Yeah, that's good. A hot tea because I'm really cold. I more bought it just to like hold my hands around it because it's freezing. Um, hopefully the train is going to be nice and hot. We've got 15 minutes to wait now. So we're just waiting inside. And then we'll get on the train back to Milano and get ready for tonight. It's an ideal. I don't really know. My outfits, I think I've said it on YouTube, they were so last minute, which had nothing turned up in time. I don't know why. So I went to Zara and got loads of stuff. So thank God for Zara. Today's outfit, we've just said I've done an outfit and I was like, I don't think I have. The jacket is from Zara. The black dress is Zara. <laughs> no, I have to just vlog Pip for a second. <laughs> She's crying her eyes out. We made a TikTok earlier about my 425 gloss, which I'll explain later. Um, the name of it, my grandma, so we put like a sad song over it. <laughs> I, look, I look to my left and Pippa sat here crying her eyes out. There's tears, I was like, she's like, I can't watch you for more time. <laughs> Literally a TikTok. If, you, if you've heard that um, sound on TikTok, it's like, take take to the moon for me from inside out. It's actually kids picks up. Help sat, <laughs> pulling my eyes out. A video of me putting a lip gloss on. <laughs> it is quite sad to be fair. I'll start like getting ready. You can explain it. What this whole TikTok scenario was about. When I was naming the brand, I actually knew like straight away what I wanted to call it, but there was like a few complications that I didn't know if I was gonna be able to call it that name. So I had like a group chat with my family and I was saying to them like, what can I call it? Like, what shall I call it, blah, blah. And like my mum and dad was coming out with the maddest recommendations, <laughs> to be fair. Some of their recommendations I've actually named other products. Um, but my brother came through and said, why don't I call it um, 425? Because basically, when my, my grandma who died when I were in Love Island, every single day, she never learned to drive, she got the bus, the 45 bus, like from growing up, we all know in my family, 45 bus was associated with my grandma, like it's what she got on every day. So Sam said to me like, why would you not name it 425? Because obviously, cause she died whilst I was in there, she's never gotten to be, be able to see how well I've done from Love Island. So it was like, that's like a nod to her because obviously I can only make this brand, I've only been able to do this brand from the money that I've got from Love Island, from like every, my deals, like I've put all my own money into this brand. Like there's been no investors, nothing, it's all me. So he was like, it's just a nod to her to like say like, oh look, like what I've managed to do. So I didn't end up calling the brand that. However, I have called one of my lip glosses it. So here it is, it's 45. It'll probably be backwards on the camera screen. And I said that like, I'll never ever put another number in the brand. So like everything is named like actual names. Like the brushes have names. Oh, well, have I said <laughs> there's brushes. There's brushes, the brushes have names. Like everything that I've brought out has a name except for this Pacific, Pacific particular gloss. Um, and like I said, I'll never ever put any more numbers in the brand. Like that'll only ever be the only number I bring out. So that is like a really nice little story behind why that is called 425. If anyone ever notices that like there's only one thing that's a number, that is why. And it is such a great gloss. Like it's actually amazing. Have you got it on now? It's come off now. Should I put it on again? Influencer vibes and balancing you on a, but a bag. <laughs> with a tripod that you bought. <laughs> with a tripod that I bought right next to me, which colour. So this one has actually got like, the, the thing is dirty because I've been putting over the top of lipstick, but it's like a clear gloss. With a shimmer in. So 
so you can see the glosses that I'm bringing out I'm not joking they pop like when you put them on your lips are just popping and it lasts for like when we was in Paris the other week I fell asleep for like three four hours and like this with my makeup on and when I woke up I still had gloss on like that's how good literally last like all day they're so good um and this one is like clear and it's got like a glitter to it so imagine let me maybe shine my light on myself this is what the gloss looks like It's basically unreal. So I'm trying to tell you all. So we are ready to go out and switch the hair. So I look a little bit different, even though I look exactly the same. Um, I've got this Mars corset on. These trousers are from Looks to Kill. This jacket actually doesn't go in my outfit, but it is freezing outside. So I'm going to wear it to walk in my outfit. Just imagine it without the jacket. We're going to take the jacket off. Doing a little quick pan around. Apparently, you're not allowed to video in here, but my YouTube is getting to see it whether I like it or not. We have got, I have got the risotto. We've had so much bread. I think mine's risotto too. No, you got the. Um... No, what is it? Ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> mine's ravioli, so with truffle. It's got the risotto. I got free bread. Bread, 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 we have decided actually not to go for drinks tonight and mm -hmm. to just go to bed because we've got a big day tomorrow. We've got a shopping day, exploring Milan, and we don't want to be tired. Um, that so was a, up there with the, one of the best ones of my life, but that was so nice. Yeah, that was unbelievable. People actually said that was the best ravioli she's ever had. And I was risotto. like, risotto. And I was like, what, the best gluten-free risotto? And she was like, no, the best risotto regardless. Yeah, I was if, like, wow. If you call them the mushroom risotto with added truffle, yeah. What was that restaurant called? G I O N A. La G I O N A. Um, was unreal. Mm. The, the, the was staff nice was unbelievably nice. Spoke really good English. Really good English. Was really nice. Was really friendly. Couldn't do enough for you. Um, and that was someone you got recommended that, and I got recommended that, mm. didn't you? Yeah. Um, but it was all in all a great choice, very Italian too. Mm. Apparently not allowed to video in there, but then we did take pictures at the end, but it didn't stop us. <laughs> so it was all in all a great night. Really, really, you know, I was thinking Milan's not the best for food before. That has been, it's not my favourite for food, but the food is, was good then. Yeah, I think we've really just nice. been not really going to the right places. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. But last night was like a bit of a waste of night. But then, if we would have gone there last night, I feel like we would have been so tired, we would have appreciated no. it. We've got a bread now, guys. We've got a big day ahead tomorrow. We're going to go vintage shopping as well, which is going to be really exciting. Really, really exciting. See if we can get any nice little bits. Because I imagine like the stuff that they would have in vintage shops in Milan. I feel like it's going to be good. For breakfast, I got the avocado, salmon, and poached eggs. I've got the salmon tartar, and you've got going through bread as well. Yeah, which so, is really exciting. Which looks really nice. Yeah. So this is the restaurant where we've come. That is the cathedral just there. And then look at the view. Like wow. And the interiors of this restaurant is so nice. Like it is a really big vibe. We are now leaving. We are going to go vintage shopping. Um, that place there, so that was just called... What is it called? Dumont Milano. That, by the way, looks like a worldy place to stay. Um, but one of my friends from home actually recommended we go there and that was unbelievable. It's right by the cathedral. Right by the cathedral. The cathedral is just there. This is my outfit of the day today. I'm going to show you what my new sunglasses on, my Bottega ones. Someone actually came up to me, stopped me and asked me where they was from and I was like, oh, <laughs> got them two days ago in Milan. I've got this Zara dress on, I've got my Travis on, they don't actually match but oh well. And then this leather trench is from ASOS but like two years ago for everyone always asked me. And then, 
my little bag that I bought in Paris for anyone remembers. So yeah, we're gonna go vintage shopping now. Um, I'm gonna spend some money, honey. This is the vintage shop you've seen on TikTok. This is the vintage shop you've seen on TikTok. But Romeo Beckham's girlfriend came here, so we can come here. Let's go in and explore. How I got it's a bit of a flop. I don't know if like there's anything in here, which is really upsetting. But I mean, we can try another one. Kind of looks like the ones in Manchester. I got a jacket. It was only it was like just that's how much it is. Turn cute. right on and it was literally it twelve pound, twelve euro. So I got it anyway. I'll show you when I get back. Everything's super it's really cheap. nice. Can't wait to pay one hundred and fifty quid. My luggage on the way back from Ryanair. <laughs> so we just went into Sephora and I got so much stuff. <laughs> Sephora is one of the things though, do you know because it's not in the UK, when you go in there you feel like you have to spend every bit of money that you can. Yeah. Because you can't get it like there were some miniatures in there. I've never seen the miniatures before. No, and it was all colour coded, coordinated. All the colour co coded. Really helped. Which I want to do now in my bathroom. So that was cool. And then they give me a free gift. Probably because I went back twice and bought half of the shop. And do you know what? Like Tarte concealers of what I use and I can't get them in the UK. No. You can, but you have to pay loads for shipping. Yeah. So when I come away, I always like to stock up on them. But I got some like new little bits I've never seen before. These are like a little first impressions. Um, Tarte have like a new foundation. I bought that. So yeah, that was really fun. We're just walking to another um, vintage shop now. But it's really hot today, isn't it's it? It's so hot, I'm actually sweating in this. I put this jacket on because I thought it'd be cold and now I'm just... just yeah, I was like, oh, Pippa, I just don't want to be cold today. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And Jesus Christ, I'm not cold. I'm getting a tan. Real good vibes, though. It's good vibes. We're happy. There's no late call more shut. <laughs> Nothing, can't get a drink. It's a bit more shopping. I've got this gorgeous jacket. And this shop is literally the best vintage shop we've ever been into. Like, the jackets are literally, oh my god, wait, that came off. There's so much, there's like DNG skirts, there's Levi, there's literally everything in the world in this little tiny shop, and it's unbelievable. I have a new memory card in, guys, found one. Um, we've just come back to the room. I've put some comfies on, I put my new jacket on. I'll show you it all later when we come back. Um, we're just going to go to McDonald's. Because we're right near McDonald's, Pip wants to try a gluten-free McDonald's burger. We're the first time I've had a McDonald's burger oh, in two right, years. Knows. Well, I yeah. hope they've got a chicken McCrispy. <laughs> um, but this is my new jacket from the vintage store. I just wanted to put some comfies on because I was in a dress. We'll just continue the vlog. V-L-O-G. I'm sorry, but I have to show you this jacket when I get to the full length. And we've like the little silver bits on my bag. <laughs> it's making me emotional. Joking. Got some really good finds today though, guys. I honestly think Milan Vintage Shopping is the best place. Mm. But it's got to just think it's the city of fashion. Whoa, this light's killing me. But this jacket, guys, it's so cool. It's so cool. McDonald's. Oh my God, look, McDonald's got an outside seating area. How posh. McDonald's, yeah. she got the burger. How is it? Actually yeah. real them. Good. We just sat, I just said, what a cool moment in time. This is our hotel. We just sat here, literally having McDonald's in the middle of the street in Milan. The cathedral's just there. There's a live singer if you can hear him in the background. What a great time to be alive. And my burger is a 10 out of 10. Wow. So much better here. Much better abroad. Aperol spritz to give you this little box thing. And we're just still here at the hotel. Guys, it's popping in here. The, book, the music is actually 10 out of 10 in it. Like, no one's dancing over there, me and Pepper, but the songs are amazing. Staying alive. Staying alive, ha 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 ha. Staying alive, staying alive, ha 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 ha. <laughs> we need to go and get ready, but it's like one song, <laughs> one song after another, in it. Is that a hotel? Stay at this 
hotel to come to Milan. It's so good. And the cathedral behind you. And the cathedral. Look, I feel like I'm at... Oh, wait, which way can I go? I feel like I'm at a rave with the cathedral. <laughs> oh, I miss, miss those days. I know. Me and Pippi used to be party animals. Like no job. We were wild. Was wild. Yeah. And when we were younger. And we just not no more. I think we just, we did, we did everything when we were younger. We did everything, yeah, that's everything. right. We got the t-shirt, pull up shit, everything. Yeah, everything you can like want to do party wise and me and people did it when we was like 17, 18, 19. We've seen it every was DJ. crazy. We've seen every DJ. We've, we've lived to tell every story. Once we were in Ibiza and we stayed in a dump. Like I'm talking dump. And anyway, these boys we met them and they was like, oh where are you staying? And we was like, can't stay the same where we are because obviously like it's embarrassing. And their hotel was beautiful. Their hotel was like amazing, like no boo standards. So anyway. We said we were staying at this really nice one down the street. We got them to drop, <laughs> drop us off there um, after like the night out, whatever it was. And then we walked to our hotel, which was a dump. Like, definitely a hostel. Honestly though, it's advice you like, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. And do you know what? They're still the funniest times. Yeah. Like, we have the funniest memories in their place. It's not funny, like, saying, hey, obviously it's, it's good stuff, but it's not funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So this is my outfit on it is the new vintage jacket that i got today i just remember i'm not showing you my haul that i got um but yeah this is the jacket it's actually a skirt too vintage levi's skirt and this jacket which is so cool um yeah pippa has got hers on too Wow. I did have it without on, which was a bit more bland but it was giving wednesday as advertised <laughs> it was giving the evidence yeah. on me a little bit it's yeah, cute, we just need to make some changes to it for maybe the future. Yeah, I just wish I could get the full effect with wearing this, but... Anyway. I really love that though. You can wear it really where it was as well in England. Yeah. No one needs to know. Just my whole YouTube channel. Well, who cares? Yeah, we're going to get off now. We actually do need to leave right now, we're going to be late. I might also flash them on tonight because this is very I short. might flash them on because mine's short. At least we'll get a free drink. Free drinks for flashing <laughs> your bum cheeks! Woo! restaurant and I couldn't help laugh when they put Pippa's down. It just looks like leaves. They don't look like there's anything in it but leaves. I got tacos. This is the main. It's got rice with it. And I got Pippa crackers. Lobster. Which actually is really nice. So yeah, bon appetit. And then for dessert, we've both got cheesecake and we are both actually drunk right now. I'm getting so drunk tonight. Nah. Guys. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what, what, actually, first things first, what is going on in the House of Commons with my hair? Like, that's not okay. No, we were so drunk last night. It was not, it was not okay. I feel like we actually tried to tell the YouTube the story, but obviously we couldn't. So, <laughs> we fell over. We fell. We fell over. That's how you're gonna pin that down to. No, we fell over. Like no. Twenty times. No. And literally only job. No. We have last night. So last night, I don't know what happened. We got to the club. I was like, "Can I buy a table?" Bought a table. I bought three bottles of vodka. Nice. This is probably how Pippa ended up in the state. She did. Mm. So we drunk three bottles of vodka. Can I just say when I usually go out, like I like to be sophisticated and stick to like two drinks at a maximum. And I got 25 last night. We were sat at a table. It's going on my eyebrow. Some guy speaking to me, a promoter or something, who ends up knowing someone who I knew from America. I'm fine. I'm saying, can't you have a bottle of water? Blah, blah, blah. Pippa. <laughs> was so sick into my drink <laughs> into my drink which is on my knee like <laughs> like this so imagine when someone's drunk they're not gonna be sick into a tiny little cup was she was so basically hot. sick all over my knees so i thought and before right. this i was full-on sick 
all of the IP toilets as well. So then I was like, toilet. right, let, let's not stress. Say no more. I just very calmly, <laughs> very calmly turned to the guy, said, <laughs> I need to go home. Me and Pippa got off. No one could even stop us. I literally said, we're leaving. We got up, grabbed Pippa. We're walking out. Then, <laughs> we were still in VIP at this point. I'm embarrassed for our souls. I'm embarrassed. No, I'm actually got the second hand embarrassment. We was walking out, we steaming. I'm holding Pippa up by the hands. We're still in VIP, can I just point out at this point. We're still in VIP. Pippa, projectile vomit. <laughs> Checked our vomits. <laughs> Can't even say it. On the floor. I got right. myself. But I and on and on herself and <laughs> on the floor. To which I <laughs> I slip on Philippa's sick and land on the floor. I'm talking. This was like, we, I was like laid out on the floor, like fully gone. Before I can even <laughs> alert Pippa, <laughs> I look to my left. She goes, <laughs> bang, slips on the sick. Literally dislocated my jaw. Oh my god, my jaw's so so I landed on my jaw, like face, like well I literally my legs went from underneath me, so it wasn't even when I like my legs went forward, but I went back and it was like an emergency shot. Imagine like someone pulled a towel from underneath both of legs. We went bang bang my nails popped off, my chin saw. I didn't even have the time, or maybe I was too my far, knees to even put my Hands down on the floor, so yeah, no, got the no, brain. no hands. No, let's not joke about that because I'm going to wash you right now. So, Do I? I don't think you were sick in my hair. I'm definitely sick in mine. You wasn't sick in my hair. To each of our dismays, we both just lie there in Philippa's sick because I thought I can't get up. I can't go. Luckily, some guys came and got us up, but. I would have rather them have left us there to die. I would have rather died in that moment than get up and walk off. Walk off stinking of Philippa's sick. No, when I say stinking, I mean like full on. Eureka. Yeah. We stunk. I'm going to have to put on clothes in a bag today to fly home. That's how bad it was. No, yeah, same. It was disgusting. It, I was wearing you sick. But anyway, oh. <sighs> good night. So yeah, Milan, we went out, we had a good night. Got a headache. Really bad headache and now I've got to fly home and shake in my hair. <laughs> oh. I washed it twice already, but it's still... Oh yeah, you did actually wash it last night. It hurts my chin, it hurts my arse cheeks. Uh, my poor backside, I was it's getting so big too, and I was getting squished about ten times. <laughs> so I am back, guys. It is a few days later now. I have just come to edit this vlog and realised I never filmed an outro. I always forget to film the outro, but I actually do think I was still drunk in the morning that I was speaking to you. That night was crazy. Um, I had bruises all over my legs, but at least Pip had fun. She said she really loved the holiday and it was fun. It was a bit less of a work one, a bit more of a fun one. Um, but yeah, I was definitely still drunk. We flew home, but the, hung the hangover never hit me. So I literally got on the plane, slept, and when I woke up, I was, I was fine. So it was perfect. I really hope you enjoyed the Milan trip. Um, just quickly before I go, I just want to quickly say on here, as I've been saying in my last videos, I booked this trip, like I have booked the last few, 
through an app called we shop so we shop is just an app that i have been using for well over 12 months now and basically you get 20 percent back on all the purchases that you make through the app and um, but in shares of the company so lastminute.com i used to book this holiday milan um, but via we shop and i will earn 20 percent back of that money but in shares so you can either sell your shares or cash out your shares 12 months after that purchase so 12 months from now i'll be able to cash out them shares from the Milan trip and literally I buy everything on there. I mean, if you follow me already, you would already know, but yeah, I'd get my clothes on there. I get my holidays on there. If you are in the UK, definitely look at the app, get on it because I've literally put all my friends, all my family, everyone who I know onto it and everyone just says the same, like it is such an amazing way to like earn shares back and get something back on what you are spending you will also need a referral link to get onto the app mine is just mary bedford and it's just because there is a queue at the minute to get onto the app but if you have a referral link you jump to the start at the front of the queue um but yeah guys i am going to bring this vlog to a close now i really hope you have enjoyed it and um, let me know any feedback i love to hear from you all and let me know where you want to go on the next trip um but i will see you on my next youtube video bye guys <laughs>